Hi guys, I would like to share with you on how to increase your memory retention the natural way. Have you ever experienced not finding your car in the parking lot and where you have no choice but to press the car key alarm button? Or have you forgotten where you placed your cell phone? Or maybe can't remember the name of your gym instructor? Well, you're not alone. Everyone forgets occasionally. Some of us are sometimes disorganized and forgetful, that our brains seem to be more like a sieve. But memory loss is nothing to take lightly. Learn to sharpen your memory and know when to seek help for memory loss. But no need to panic. After you have watched this, your life will never be the same again. So let's go to the formula. Information times emotion equals memory retention. When you combine information with emotion, this will result in memory retention. Notice that when you learn or experience something where there is a presence of mood and feeling, this result to long time memory. Say for instance, the experience you got when you were young that gave you positive or negative impact in your life will never be forgotten, even though so many years have passed. How many of you still memorize a song you learned more than 10 years ago, but still remember until now because it gave you a good impact to your life? Attention is also one of the major components of memory. In order for information to move from short-term memory into long-term memory, you need to actively focus to this information. Getting rid of distractions might be a challenge, especially if you are surrounded by a noisy environment. So let's now share with you techniques to help you improve your memory. First, meditation. Make time for meditation. This is not just good for your body, but it is also good for your brain. Meditation can increase gray matter in the brain and improve spatial working memory. Gray matter contains neuron cell bodies. Meditation is relaxing and soothing and has been found to reduce stress, pain, lower blood pressure, and even improve memory. This can even increase blood flow into your brain and thus improve your memory which leads to a stronger network of blood vessels in the cerebral cortex and reinforces memory capacity. Studies show that meditating for 20 minutes a day boosts memory and concentration. Second is mindfulness. Always practice mindfulness. This is a mental state in which you focus on your present situation Maintaining awareness of your surroundings and feelings. Mindfulness is used in meditation, but the two aren't one and in the same. Meditation is a more formal practice, whereas mindfulness is a mental habit you can use in any situation. Studies have shown that mindfulness is effective at lowering stress and even improving concentration and memory. Incorporate mindfulness techniques into your daily routine by paying more attention to your present situation. Concentrating on your breathing and gently resetting your attention when your mind wanders. This also helps when experiencing panic attacks through deep breathing and paying attention to a certain object, animal or person. Practicing mindfulness techniques has been associated with increased memory performance. Mindfulness is also linked to reduced age-related cognitive decline. Third, sleep. Get enough sleep. Lack of proper sleep has been associated with poor memory for quite some time. Sleep always plays an important role in memory consolidation a process in which short-term memories are strengthened and transformed into long-lasting memories. Another study found that nurses working night shift made more mathematical errors 
and that 68% of them scored lower on memory tests compared to nurses working on day shift. So maybe have yourself vaccinated in the morning rather than later in the day. It is recommended that adults sleep between seven and nine hours each night for optimal health. Studies have consistently associated sufficient sleep with better memory performance. Sleep helps consolidate memories. In addition, taking a nap after you learn something new can actually help you learn faster and remember better. It leads to physical changes in the brain. So the next time you're struggling to learn new information, consider getting a good night's sleep after you study. Fourth is socialize. Social interaction has been a major part of cognitive development from the day you were born. Early relationships and interactions with parents, siblings, friends, and teachers taught you how to speak, interpret, and express emotions, and even expand your knowledge. Social interaction helps ward off depression and stress, both of which can contribute to memory loss. Socializing not only removes feelings of loneliness, but also it helps sharpen memory and cognitive skills. It also increases your sense of happiness and well being and can even help you live longer. In person is better but connecting via technology is also okay. Go to the park, join community services, call a friend, build social networks, and participate in social activities. Fifth, reading. Always keep your brain active. Reading strengthens your brain. It stimulates your mentally, expands your vocabulary, allows you to sleep better, and even enhances your social skills. Reading as little as six minutes per day can improve your quality of sleep, reduce stress, and sharpen mental acuity. Reading strengthens the neural circuits and pathways of our brain while lowering heart rate and blood pressure. Studies show that reading requires more than the brain than deciphering speech and involves visual, linguistic, and associative learning, which can help to improve your memory. Scientists found that reading lowers the levels of the brain protein beta amyloid, which is involved in Alzheimer's, as it keeps the brain active. Six, writing poetry and listening to music. Studies show that involving MRI scans have shown that these activities stimulate the right hemisphere of the brain, particularly in regions related to emotion and satisfaction. Stimulating your imagination, thinking about which words to rhyme, structuring your piece and the rewarding feelings of pride, that occur when you finish a piece, all help to develop your brain in various ways. It can also stimulate self-reflection and introspection and allow you to express your emotions in a way that can resonate and connect with others. These complex emotional aspects of music and poetry result in improved cognition and brain function. Seven. Blogging or vlogging. Stay mentally active. Blogging requires research, learning, organizing, creativity, and communication skills in order to write a successful piece that will resonate with the audience. You may also have to endure a bit of the dreaded multitasking if you are writing a number of blog posts. All of these skills and concepts help to improve your memory and brain function. Doing the research and studying a specific topic, learning to organize your thoughts into a coherent piece with subheadings and staying mentally active by writing engaging posts are all aspects of lifelong or continuous learning which can improve the plasticity of your brain.
8. Use mnemonic techniques. Mnemonic in Greek word meaning of memory, also known today as the art of memory. Mnemonics are often used for lists and in auditory form, such as poems, songs, acronyms, and jingles. A common example is how children remember the alphabet by singing the ABCs. The first letter of each word is combined in a new word. Or another example is the smarter goal I made on my previous blog. Nine, visualize concepts. Many people benefit greatly from visualizing the information they study. Pay attention to the photographs charts, and other graphics in your notes or textbooks. Draw charts or figures in the margins of your notes, or use highlighters or pens in different colors to group related ideas in your written study materials. Sometimes even just making flashcards or various terms you need to remember can help cement information in your mind. Then, structure and organize. Get organized and structure your daily activities. You're more likely to forget things if your home is cluttered and your notes are in disarray. Jot down tasks, appointments, and other events in a special notebook, calendar, or electronic planner. Be able to distinguish what is important and what is the priority. You might even repeat each entry out loud as you jot it down to help cement it in your memory. Keep to-do lists current and check off items you've completed. Try grouping similar concepts and terms together or make an outline of your notes and textbook readings to help group related concepts. Understand your own style of learning. Most people are visual learners, remembering best what they see. They benefit the most from memory, text, note, and science. Others are auditory learners, remembering best what they hear. They benefit from talking out loud or using a recorder. A few people are kinesthetic learners, remembering best what they experience. They will benefit most from writing things down or acting them out. 11. Visit new places. These stimulate creativity and imagination. Zoos, museums, art galleries, and various historical sites can stimulate the mind in many ways and allow you to learn new, interesting facts about concepts you may not have explored in the past. This is a fun activity that you can do with friends or like-minded people while also exercising your brain. It is an activity that stimulates creativity and lifelong learning. Therefore, aiding with memory and cognitive fitness. Why not read the signs and information that are written in these areas rather than possibly just observing the displays or paintings? Keeping your brain active and learning new things is indispensable. Creating new connections in the brain will help the loss of memory and even improve brain plasticity and cognitive function. 12. Relate new information to things you already know. When you're studying an unfamiliar material, take the time to think about how this information relates to what you already know. By establishing relationships between new ideas and previously existing memories, you can dramatically increase the livelihood of recalling the recently learned information. Make a story forming images relating to the things you want to memorize or build a cognitive map to know where the things are. Say for instance, memorizing the different countries in Europe. You can picture the Eiffel Tower for France, Buckingham Palace for Great Britain, and so on. Conclusion. Our mind is like a computer. Whatever you program in your mind 
will be giving you the output you want. When you keep on saying, I will go to France next year, you will most likely to be able to go to France since your mind is always listening to what you say. Therefore, your actions will always be geared to what you are thinking. Whatever you believe and conceive, you will achieve. So just to wrap up, first, you are exposed to information which can be forgotten within 48 hours. Second, repeat where you say it loud, reviewing and writing it down, can give weeks or months of retention. And lastly, is put into practice, putting them into action, which will give you longer term retention. Hope you will click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the memories of your life.